Okay, I don't know if you can know if you can see, but the uh, well, the pack is not uh, is hanging differently now. All right, one I can't get it into my lumbar really even though my shoulder straps are cinched as far down as they can be which is putting all the load on my shoulders not to mention the way that the way that it's built is it's the shoulder pads right under your arm and keep your arm from being fully functional. It's, there's a wedge between your shoulder and your pectoral keeping you from being able to function properly and I'm not even wearing an armored vest. Okay, it would be different. It would be worse because this would be the way these shoulder pads are so wide. They would be sliding off of my vest uh, impeding my motion further. Okay, another so if I loosen this, what happens is the back automatically wants to uh, pull away from my body. Okay, now this, these sternum straps here don't, don't normally come with the bag. This is an addition that I found uh, through my many travels. <laughs> But even then, I mean, it's not really, it's not gathering. This, this thing here is pretty functionless as well. Again, maybe if I was wearing the armor and all that kind of stuff and it was, and I had more mass here to, it, it would be more functional because there's all this slack. So it's, it might be designed for that. But uh, in a bug out civilian mode where I'm not wearing armor or anything like that, it's functionless. Right, it's not doing anything except all right, retaining my, my drinking tube so it's not flopping all over the place. Okay, but I want you to notice something. Okay, is that I am leaning forward. If I stand up straight, I'm going to fall over because this bag is just a giant barrel. And it and it it's not uh, it's not using it wasn't designed for gravity uh, to be your friend so if you stand up straight you're gonna fall over so automatically when you put this on you have to lean forward to equal the equal out the balance which is a pain in the ass okay so in order to balance your pack you have to lean forward with this system not uh, very cool, all right? The shoulder straps are still uh, riding the neck, all right? They're wedging my arms apart. So even if I, you know, uh, I would have issues, you know, in a fight, all right? Even with the long gun, being able to maintain because I'm having to squeeze this. It's like I'm doing a fly the whole time squeezing my chest together to be able to function so um, not ergonomic <laughs> okay not ergonomic uh, and fatiguing and uh, it doesn't again this is this is just sliding down it's just it's just sliding down it's not on the lumbar this hip belt is useless except to you know, there's some body roll here with this pack. It's not completely stable. There's body roll here. That's all that this belt does. If you took it off, all right, you can see the swinging. That's, you know, but that's all it does. The shoulder pressure hasn't really changed that much with it on and off. So, and I can't, you know, with modern packs, you can cinch the shoulder straps down and hold it but what what you're doing is you're putting the weight on your shoulders so this thing is on uh, my shoulders now 
okay, just as it was with the waist strap on. The waist strap is in ineffective. It doesn't do anything to put the weight onto your hips. Nothing. So it's a fail. All right, now let's go ahead and look at some civilian technology to see the differences in how uh, pack technology has evolved since 1973. This is the uh, Gregory Z55. What I want you guys to see about this pack, and this is one of their, this is what specifically built to be a lighter weight. We carry up to about, it's rated to be about, <coughs> to carry about 50 or so pounds, between 40 and 50 for the max uh, payload that, that's advertised to. <coughs> to load here. Okay, you notice that the, the hip belt encompasses my hip bone. It wraps around it so that the weight is actually settled on the bone structure. Okay, now this thing is literally, it's pivoting right here. Okay, so what do we got in differences? One, the shoulder pads aren't hitting the neck. Okay, you got your load lifter straps here to bring the load in. <clears throat> tighter to the top of the back. This has a little pass through here for ventilation, but that's not the point. What I'm trying to point out is that modern packs, if you look at the back here, the, the silhouette of the bag is actually built into a taper to force the load up high. So it comes down in a nice even kind of curve to your lumbar. It ends at your lumbar, it doesn't hang fast. <clears throat> so you notice I'm standing up straight because all the weight is landing right here in my lumbar area. And I'm able to stand up straight, I'm even able to lean back, all right, and do whatever. I have the same stuff in this pack as I did in the, uh, I have the same stuff in here as I did in the Alice, all right? The one thing I changed was I went from a three-man tent to a one-man tent, just because this is only a 55-liter bag, so. But I've got, <clears throat> everything else is in here. This thing is not moving at all. I'm able to raise my legs all the way up, okay? I still have pouches. No, I don't have molly all over the place. I don't have, you know, uh, racks of ammunition pouches and stuff like that, but what are you going to need that for? Okay. To bug out of town without getting arrested. That's the goal. Here, everything is contained inside, nice and neat. All right, get yourself one of those ribs packs. Put your knee in there or whatever and roll with it. Okay, but uh, this to me is much more ergonomic than that Alice pack. What are you buying? You're buying nostalgia, you're buying cool, you're buying this uh, false sense of macho. All right, all oh, the Rangers had that, all oh, the Marines had that pack, and they were suffering because of the, of the technology that was, that was made in 1973. Okay. It's ridiculous. Drop the cool factor. Think practicality factor. And by the way, these packs are cool. Oh, here's another thing. Watch this. My neck doesn't touch the frame. I, may, I am, my head is all the way up before I rest that. Okay, the shoulder pads. Shoulder pads wrap around my neck. 
They're, they're built to be go around my neck and down. So nothing is constraining my movement. So, you know, whenever you got to go to a gunfight, you know what I'm saying? You're able to do whatever you have to do with these smaller, newer packs that are just as capable of carrying the same amount of loads in a sleeker, lighter design that's more functional. And yes, I have two water bladders in here, okay, plus the tent, okay? So look at what is going on. Get rid of the coolness and find functionality over form, okay? I'm not advocating this pack. Go find out what pack you want, what you want. But there's better technology out there, okay? So the Alice Large LC1, thumbs down. It's a fail, okay? It is a fail. Look at what else is out there, okay? Look at what else is out there. All right. More videos to come. Thanks for paying attention to my little stuff here. And uh, get out there. All right. See you guys next time.